Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 572. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 570 to 574. In this video here, we want to talk about comparative operators in logical formulas and in COUNTIF and SUMIF because you have to use a different syntax. And this is confusing. This is actually in my advanced Excel class right now. People are like, why? What's the difference? Uh, count if you usually have to put your um, comparative operation, sometimes criteria, in quotes like that. But when you do logical formulas, you do not have to put your comparative operator in quotes. This is just something strange about how they program count if, count if and sum if. You do not have to, uh, you just have to memorize it. These count if, sum if, sum ifs, count ifs, average if, those kind of uh, functions require uh, text for the criteria, whereas logical formulas do not. Let's just see what, what we mean here. Um, we're going to do a logical formula equals this is equal to this. Now, this is a formula someone would do if they, they're trying to make sure on each journal entry in accounting that debits equal credits. This is a logical formula. The first equal sign says, hey, this is a formula. The second one is the comparative operator. Are they equal? Logical formulas return true or falses. Now I'm going to copy this down. What? False. That's why accountants do these kind of formulas, right? They immediately go, oh, man, it must be formatting. So they, um, they highlight the, the range and then say increase the font size. Boop. And then they realize, oh, they still look all equal, so they do it again. And sure enough, there's an extra penny, and so they go look for the error. So that's a logical formula. Another type of f uh, logical formula or, or array formulas in some product uh, function use uh, comparative operator operators to get true and falses. Let's try and count the number of years in 2010. Now, we could act, add an extra column here. Um, using the year function and uh, get it that way and then use count if. But if you didn't want to add extra column, you'd have to use something like some product, right? Some product uh, can deal with arrays. Now, year function right here, so let's just use it here, year. And I'm going to highlight the whole column. Now, the array part of this is that once you put a year is expecting a single serial number. That means one date. As soon as you put a range in, it's like, what are you trying to do? It becomes an array. And you can see that this is true by highlighting it and hitting the F9 key. You can see it returns an array of all the years over there. So now, Control-Z, we can say, hey, array, are you equal to this right here? Now, if we highlight this, and hit the F9, mm, some product doesn't like trues and falses. So we actually um, have to convert these to ones and zeros. And then some, the sum part of some product will add the ones and zeros and get a count of two. Now, this is not the best example to understand how some product works, because some product usually takes two arrays and multiplies them and then adds. But for this particular example, this is like a one argument example when you'd use some product and just use one. Uh, argument. The reason why is because the sum product can handle arrays. Um, if we put this inside of sum if or count if, it would not work because you are not allowed to have arrays in those. So there's a second weird thing about the count if and sum if. The way I'm going to convert these trues and falses to ones and zeros, and I'm going to put double negative. And you got to put parentheses around this series of trues and false, because in the order of operations, the hierarchy of order of operations in Excel, comparative operators come very last, uh, way after plus and minus and multiplying and dividing, et cetera, and exponents. This is a unitary operator here. And this is way above uh, comparative operators. So since this would be calculated last, it would go double negative of all these equals that, and it would give you no. So don't worry, just that right there, the parentheses holding all the trues and falses, if I hit the F9, Control-Z, uh, then have an opportunity to let the double negative convert them to tr ones and zeros, F9, Control-Z. All right, so uh, Control-Enter. We get a count of two. But that's another example of when we can use comparative operators. Um, another example right here. 
just because I did all equal signs, you could say is this greater than this. That's a logical formula. And lots of some ifs and if functions and stuff use greater than or less than or whatever. And so that's a time where you have a true and false. And you don't need those uh, double quotes. Now let's do count if equals, and by the way, I type this in greater than and a 1, and I type this in 1. Now what's the difference? You immediately should notice that the this is a line to the left, that means it's text. And this is a line to the right, that means it's a number. So equals count to if. We're going to highlight this range right here. And actually, I'm going to go up to the Format Cells dialog box and show you that it knows that it's text. I'm going to click right there. And then for criteria, I'm going to click right there. Now you can see it puts it in double quotes. That means it's seen it as text, right? And that's what that needs. Click OK. So we get a count of two. Now if I want to add these, instead of counting one, two, I want to add them. So I'm going to sum if. I'm actually going to use sum ifs. The sum range and the arguments on sum ifs with an s and sum if are different. Highlight there. Comma, the criteria range, well, um, that's right here. And then the criteria. Now, I want to leave this a 1 because maybe I'll use this uh, you know, um, number in some other formulas where I need the number 1. So here's where you actually have to explicitly say in quotes greater than n double quotes and join using shift 7 ampersand and click right there. So that's another example. And if you were to highlight this and evaluate it, you can see that, sure enough, um, it's text. It has to be in quotes for sum ifs and count ifs. Control Z. All right, I can, and then it adds. Now I'm going to go up and look in the um, functions argument dialog box by clicking there and showing you again that it is looking at text right there. So anytime you use a comparative operator, uh, these functions are programmed so that it has to be text. And whereas a lot of our other logical formulas like this, including the if function, which I didn't show you here, or maybe I will just real quick, and this one. So maybe we had something like uh, equals if this is greater than this, then in quotes, oops, and the quotes here because it's text, otherwise uh, dr equals cr or something like that. Doctor. So then I could double click and send it down. All right, um, hopefully that clears up the difference of when to use that. It's really you only have to remember that sum if and count if are the ones that give us trouble. All right, we'll see you next trick.